morning guys. Um, it's been a, feels like it's been months, but it ain't. It's only been about a week and a half. Um, welcome to the River Medway, the freshwater part of it. We are, I am, waiting for Kieran, currently. Um, we are at Teeston today. At, well, at the minute I'm at Teeston, on the bridge, looking at the old uh, Udra Madubri. Um, plan is today pike fishing. Sorry for you sea anglers out there that can't stand puddle chucking, but the day we've said we've we've been saying it for weeks, we're gonna have a go for these pike, um, and here we are. Problem we've got is we've had no no proper rain for the last know, week or so. Well, don't get me wrong, it's been the weather's been absolute shite. Like it, it, we've had drizzle and it's been cold, it's been windy, and it's been wet. But last night the weather was ridiculous. We had like it felt like four years of rain in a couple of hours. Well, the river's not flooded, but it is absolutely ploughing through. Um, there's, we're not fishing here, we can't. So I'm waiting for Kieran. I don't know if you can see. Let me just hold the phone still. You know, you see the bubbles going past. Oh, my God. That's I won't even focus on the bubbles. What a pile of turds. But anyway, you can see the white shapes flying past. There's no way we're fishing that. Um, and there's a few of us today, I think. So what I want to do is I'm going to start making my way to, I mean, Teeston, Country Park, it's a lovely little place. There's a nice weir. Oh, there's a car coming. I've got to get in a little cut out before I get run over. Oh, slow yourself down, son. Swat. Um, up there, there's a lock and a weir. Um, you, you can, the weir's that side and the lock's this side. There's also what they call a fish pass and, and a canoe pass, um, which is really, really far to land, even when it's not raining. So um, I think what we're going to end up doing... We, we, all week we've been trying to decide where we're going to go, where we're going to go, because neither of us, me or Kieran, or Damien for that matter, I don't think, are experts obviously with the freshwater. I've done a bit of piking at a place called East Peckham, a bit further along the river, when I was a kid, but I went up there yesterday with the missus and the dog, and uh, the top half of the river's been emptied out, in, in a, um, and they've emptied it, they've opened, they've opened up the locks and the weirs to let all the water drain out from the top end of the river and close it to like boaters and things. Um, I'm assuming it's in anticipation for the rain we've got coming because last year me and Mike um, came down here and well you saw how low the river was there last year the river was up in this field it looked like it was almost it was almost coming in the road it had risen by about 13 14 foot it was ridiculous so um, I don't know that's the real reason why they've entered the river at the top but I, I can't see any other reason like it's not like they're gonna sweep the bottom of the river out now is it so I'm assuming that they've emptied it so that when the rain comes, it can fill it up again. Because obviously it was flowed all the way down into the town centre and Maidstone town centre was absolutely knackered as well. Um, so yeah, oh, look, this is where we are. In case anyone wants to come down, if anyone's local-ish. We are at Teeston Bridge Country Park. Open daily from nine, except Christmas. Well, yes. Um, so I think the plan will be I'm going to wait for Kieran to show up, and then we're probably going to shoot off. We did talk about monks, um, but if I'm honest, we need to go. So I know where there's a little spot we can go, but the only real place you can fish there is on the bit where it says you're not allowed to fish. So, I mean, personally, I'm happy to go and do it because no one's going to bother us on a day like today. But it all depends what Kieran wants to do. I think he's bringing his young nephew. To be fair, the last thing we want to do is go fishing somewhere where we're going to get turfed off when we've got his little nephew with us and he's, I think it's his first time to be fair so we want to go somewhere we're going to be left alone but the, pl the problem is obviously when you're fresh water fishing it's not like the beach there's there's normally swims and, there's, and the, the swims are not big enough for everyone so we're just going to have to see if not we're going to end up at Monks Monk Lakes have got a river section behind, it, behind all their lakes oh hang on Ooh. The idea to go fishing this morning was to get up at first light. Well, be here for first light and be fishing for first light like the witcher now off the pike. But, um, clocks went back last night as well. So the times are all a bit funny at the minute. It's a bit weird, especially when you get up at four o'clock in the morning. You don't quite know what time it is. Is it four? Is it five? Is it three? Who knows? Right, I'm going to stop jabbering and uh, I will bring you back when we get somewhere, wherever we're going. Laters. Well, we found somewhere we are on a little stretch of river between Yaldin and Teapot Island. Um, I've got my float rod set up. You can't really see the float. Can we see the float? Where is it? Yes, there's the float. Right in the middle of the camera. Um, I just set my pipe rod up. 
we're gonna um obviously i'm waiting for a, a, a live bait but hopefully you all can see this there's the trebles on a wire trace of about i don't know 18 inches long down to a little yellow bead a little drilled lead and then a float um, it's about 1200 deep here, so like 1.2 meters. So we're setting this at probably about 800, so 0 0.8 meters. There's a stop knot just to stop the float from floating all the way up the line, and that stop knot is just a section of this. The kids had a little balloon set indoors that they make blow these balloons up and make dogs and flowers and stuff out of. Um, so I'll nick some of them when I'm using them as stop knots. The bait today is maggots for my live baits. Um, Kieran bought a load of dead baits, so I'm going to go and nick one of his dead baits and get one pipe wood out for now. Just so we've got a pipe wood out and we're out and we're ready and we're going. Um, and then I'm going to try and catch a few live baits. Obviously, I've got my big landing net, and then what I'll do all the live baits is we'll chuck in there. And then if I do get a pike, I can just net the pike, and the little baits can stay in there while I net the pike. They won't get hurt, they'll always be in water, so brand new. Kieran's got the swans. Um, yeah, well, hopefully we'll bring you back and we we'll show you see some fish um, in a bit. Nice. Trying to catch live baits and that one's a bit bigger than a live bait. <laughs> that was a cracking fish. Well done, Ron. Got no idea of spikes. Joe, the best way to hold it, Ron, would be put your thumb in its mouth. Yeah, like exactly. Just put, just put your thumb in its mouth. Exactly like that. Just oh, hang on, Kieran. Hang on, mate. Hang on. Is it underneath it. Yeah. No, hang on. It's gill. It's gill. Yeah, you recall it. That's it. Just try and put it out of the way. It could do. Nearly. Just. That's it. Got you. Like a, uh, well, like a freshwater bass, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, it's a nice fish, that. Well done, Ron. Right, I've now got a live bait out as well. Uh, saying that, oh, it's there. I've got a live bait out. I've changed my rig on my pipe rod to um, a bit like a paternoster rig, if you like. So there's a lead at the bottom. There's a lead at the bottom now, and then there's like a snood coming off. So, fingers crossed, we'll, um, we'll see a pike. Well, me and Kieran have moved up a bit. We are fishing, our setup is down there. Me and Kieran have just come up. I've just changed my float rod over to a, a mega feeder uh, setup. So it's now fishing the bottom. Kieran's got his float out on his rod, but we've come up. We're now at Teapot Island, which is over there, that bit that bit of land. Look at the sky though. It is absolutely hammering it down on top of us today. And uh, this is why we're not fishing the main river, because this is the flow. It's unbelievable. Look, look at the weeds going up. It's not even windy. Yeah, it is, it is hammering it through. So yes, the main reason, we're trying to get a live bait, because I did get a take earlier. Um, when I last year, I come and done a bit of pike fishing, and I got a take, and I was, as soon as the float moves, I was on it. And I felt the pike on for about two seconds, and it, it has gone. So this time I had a take, and I thought, right, now I'm gonna leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. And I just wanted it to just sort of run off with it, if you like, maybe. But it pulled my float under and it pulled it down and it pulled it a little bit to the left but it was sort of a 10 second sort of thing and i thought go on go really go 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 and it just didn't all of a sudden the float popped back up and then i sort of struck into it and it was just by then it was gone but the roach that was on as a live bait was absolutely battered so it was definitely a pike um i just missed out i, I shouldn't i should have hit it quicker um but if i'd have missed it again then i would have said oh, i should have left it longer you just don't know do you when you're a bit of a novice i say a bit of a novice <laughs> when you're a total novice really I've caught pike in the past, but when I was a kid, it was a long time ago. But we are still hopeful. It is only about 11 o'clock, so we've got a few hours left yet. I won't be out all day today because I've got a nice big fat roast pork uh, beef when I get home. So I'm, to be honest, it's keeping me going. Right, in a bit. Well, I'm bring so it's a fish, aren't I? Not only have you uh, hooked a pike, but you've fair looked it. Oh, ain't a bad size, actually. It ain't a bad size. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
that one hooked? We're going to get that. Well, no, that is hooked, I think. I think you've just wrapped your line around, that's all. Is it? I think so, mate. But He's had it. it Come on, bring it up, bring it up. Oh, no, no. Yeah, is oh, it? I think it's in its side, mate. I really do. That's why you are. It's having it, though, isn't it? It is. It is having it. You recording that, Yes, I am. Doing the phone? Yes. Turn your phone landscape. Huh? Turn your phone landscape. Ah, okay. I got it. Yeah? Got it. Have you got it on? Have you, have you recorded it in all one? Oh, he looks angry. He does look angry, doesn't he? He, he looks really pissed off yeah, at you. He'll be as pissed off as me as if I don't get it in his net. No, no, all right. All right, all right. I know. I know. Here, why don't you get in the net for him? He's nearly side. there. He's nearly there. I've got the net. I've got... No, I don't like it, the net. It, it's, it's showing he people like doing. a professional how it is that you, on, dude, you how you foul look a fish and bring it in and then claim that you're oh, a fisherman. Doesn't want to. You got it? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Come this side, mate. Come this side. Sorry, Grace. I know. I'll have it in in a minute, girl. And you can sniff it all the light. Yeah, look. You can get in there. Add some. Gently scoop underneath, oh, mate. No, underneath. No, no, no. Underneath. Oh, no. underneath. Yeah, no, no, no. So we ain't around a bit. Right, let me get my big one. Come this one. Come this way, mate. Honestly, this will be fine. Look, you'll be alright. Just got to let it run out of it. That is in the gob. Is I'm it? sure it is. Right, add in water. Just keep it in the it's water just, for a it's just very angry, that's all. Slowly, well, does it? No, I think you are milking it. It is definitely in the gob. It is definitely in the gob, isn't it? Right. That's it. Come round here. Right. Bring it up. Oh. It's all you, mate. Get it, get it. Yeah, right, 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 put the net down. That's it. Oh, he's gone again. Yeah, let me get this. Next time. Yeah. That's all right. Not got quite long enough arms. Come on, just bring it in closer. That's it. Like a pro. Yes. All right. Like a pro. Yeah, mate, just that. Go on, you got it. It's a nice size, that. Right? You got it? Yeah, I've got it, I've got it. The dog's going nuts because she wants to eat the pike. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm well happy with that. Of oh, course, you've got to be. Oh, could you, mate? Yeah. Mind me, Rod. Nice one. Right, get ready for the picture. That is a lovely fish. Mind your hands, isn't it? Grace. Grace, go and put her in the thing. Go and put her in the van. Thank you. Oh, Grace, that's a lovely fish. Oh, that's a lovely fish. Oh, that's a nice pike, isn't it? I couldn't believe it came up and smashed that out like it did. On the surface, you know, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Well, hang on, I've got to stand up because. <laughs> the old there, and everyone can walk past him and ask. And the swan was a big one. Mind your hands in that, mate. Yeah. Oh. Do them gills, mate. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth, little dude. Oh. <laughs> it's just come out. It's just it's hooked itself yeah, yeah. in his shoe. Hold well well on. Pick it up. Come on, fish out now. Smile for the camera. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I've, had, I've had my hair, hang on. Bit of oh, you've had your hair cut. Oh, look at you, you've been hiding that all day. Oh, I have been hiding You look like a fresh boy. <laughs> if it wasn't so ugly, I'd fancy oh, you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you alright? Yep, yeah, I'm now. Oh, and you're milking this right out. Oh, probably milking this right out. <laughs> Kyle! Probably milking this right out. Look at the camera then. Yeah. Sweet as nut. You got any scales, Kieran? Um no. Neither have I. No, you arm. bugger. Oh well, I'm we... gonna guess forty-five pound. At least. At least. At least. <laughs> well, yeah. look, you've got your mat, you've got your width for your mat there, you can measure that later and you can get a rough idea, can't you? Oh yeah, that's it. Do one of them scales to think when they're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, least you'll get a rough fish. idea. It's a double though, isn't it? So Yeah. yeah. You can't grumble at that. You all on hooks? Yeah, let me just get it out. To get on yourself. Me. Would you hook yourself on? The fish or you? I think the fish. Oh, careful that. You'll bleed it's it. It's everywhere, look. <laughs> right, let's get it back, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll take it out of the net and all that. Take, take it, put it back in the way, mate. That is a really nice fish, that. I am farting. So you should be, mate. Oh, all thanks to Kieran because he chose the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grind him, he's coming out. That's it. Ten minutes ago, it was. This is really crap, thanks, Kieran. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it smashed it out on a thing like on that. the surface? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it? Yeah, this is a live bait on that one. I'm just going to let it uh, swing itself. I 
can't it's, it's where I drop my phone in the wall and then you've got no video footage. Oh, don't. I'll be trying to find your iCloud. That's it. I'll give him a minute. He is breathing. Yeah, he's all right. He's upside down, ain't helping him. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, there, there he goes. goes there he goes. And away he goes. Look at that. Get in. Well, mister, what do you want to say about that? Um, Thanks for the life oh, landscape. Here, Sorry, mate. Thanks yeah. for catching the life bait. Is that that one with it? It was a massive one as well. Yeah. He smashed that right on the top. Yep, on the surface. Surface oh. fishing for pike. Right? How about that? Indeed. Right. In a bit. In a bit. <laughs> that shadow doesn't look very good, does it? Looks a bit. Looks a bit rude. Kieran's down there. Kieran the gudgeon hunter. <laughs> um, his nephew is the bush hunter. Can't see. Let me put my rod down. Hang on. Right, we're having a last hour of the day somewhere different, just a, bit, a little bit back further along the road, really. Fishing somewhere we shouldn't really be fishing. Earlier we come and had a look at this, and uh, it wasn't underwater, and now it is. And I can't fish on there because I've got no wellies on because I'm a twat. Oi! Hey! He got it back! Look at him! He's buzzing that he got it out! <laughs> He's been. He has been stuck in that bush for the last 10 minutes, pulling and tugging away, and he did not give up. Fair play to him, look. <laughs> No mind the bush. <laughs> um, sorry, get back to it. So last year I came here and I cut, oh, shh, that's my nice new rod and reel. Like a couple of fellas they set up when they cast. Hang on, zoom out. They chuck their rods in here. Like, this is the entrance to a marina on the on the thing. Um, and that's they had a couple of pike and I was fishing where he is and I had mine over there and I had a run and missed it. Um, so it's, to be honest, this is where I probably would have fished a day because the river is flowing so hard. Where we was fishing earlier, where I had my pike, it's just up there underneath that bridge. This is like a little canal channel that runs up and then the main river runs right around the back of us and then it this joins to the main river. Um, so yeah, we're giving it a last half hour here. Um, sorry for the last bit of recording of me catching the fish if it's crooked because Kieran recorded it on his phone and he started it in land, in portrait then turned it to landscape. I don't exactly know how it's going to come out when I edit it. So and I, as we all know, I'm not the best at editing. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. This is more than likely going to be the end of the video because I'm going home in about 10 minutes to get my um, beef. Um, so yeah, next weekend I am going sea fishing and I'm going to catch a cod. Just you wait and see. In a bit. Yo, right, that is obviously us. I'm now driving the car. Um, I'm going home. Kieran stayed for another, I don't know how long. He has one last cast, but Kieran can have 50 one last casts. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain it, it'll probably be there another hour. Um, again, he's pipe fishing in that second spot. Now, next time I go, next time I get out and do a bit of pipe fishing, because that is not the last time, um, I do plan on doing a bit more of that, because honestly, if you could have seen the take of that pike, it was on the, sur I say on the surface. The fish obviously was spooked. And because it was on a paternoster type, like a flapper rig, if you like, for you sea fishing lads, um, it had swum up where the chase, where the pike was chasing it. The fish swam up, and I saw something go on the surface near my float, and I shouted, "Gear!" I said, "God, did you see that?" And while I was sort of, I was looking at him. He was already looking at the float, and he went, "Oh, look at that go!" And it went, it went, it was fucking going mad, really. Um, so I ran down, grabbed the rod, and just sort of picked it up. And I thought, if it if it moves slightly, twitches again, I'm having it. And it did. It just went absolutely mental. So um, I, obviously I had it. Um, sorry, there wasn't more fish, guys. But pike fishing's not like white and bashing. Thank God. You, there's, you don't. I, I don't suppose you get many in a day. If you get sort of three or four in a session, I think you're having it off. To be fair. Um, and for us to go today and and have to keep moving spots because the river was flooding and. Um, where we was, that where I had that pipe wasn't the main drag of the river. It was like a little off stream. So to be honest, getting the pipe there and getting the fish, I was happy with. Um, more than happy with, to be fair. I'm still buzzing, still buzzing. Um, but yeah, I think I've just looked at the tides and there's a good shout I'm gonna have a cod session on the Medway. You may laugh, you may laugh, but if Nath Dids can catch a cod on the Medway on the boat, I can catch one from the blue crane or something like that got to be able to. So I'm going to get on the phone to my uh, bait supplier in a little while because I've been flat out of work the last couple of weeks. I've been out to dig bait. I've been out to do anything really. Um, I'm going to see if he's got some bait and then tomorrow night I'll shall fly down to go and get it and then maybe Tuesday night have a little bash on the river depending on what the weather's doing. But uh, yeah, thanks all for watching and I will see you on the next one. In a bit.